morning, gamers. How are we doing today? And welcome to Xbox On's playthrough of some Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which just launched today on Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One. What's up, everyone in chat? How are we doing? Are we excited for this game? I am very keen. I love sci fi games, I love sci fi films, movies, everything, but. I've actually never played any of the original Mass Effect trilogy, so this is kind of exciting for me because it's going to be my first ever look at this uh, trilogy, which everyone absolutely goes bananas for. So, with that in mind, shall we start with the first game, probably? That makes the most sense. Who in chat has already picked up this game and has played a little bit, or how many of you guys have actually played the original ones and are looking forward to seeing how they look in 4K or even... 120 fps which is what we're going to be doing today so we've got the three games here you have to install the second and third ones independently if you just install it from the store it'll install the first game only but that's fine because it's only like about 20 gigs so it's not too bad good morning guys hello andy hello everyone if you're excited for this game guys make sure you leave a like on the video as well really really helps us out right let's get started let's press start i'm excited man I love sci-fi. Mass Effect, always I hear so many cool stories about it. People go nuts for this game. Ooh. Press any button. I will press any button. Now, like I mentioned, morning guys, there are two modes that you can play this in on Xbox Series X and S, okay? You have the uh, quality mode and you have the performance mode. So let's have a look at where that option is. So graphics. I'm playing on the Xbox Series X and I'm going to favor frame rate. Now, on the Series X, this actually lets you play at 120 FPS. It's the only console in the world that will let you play Mass Effect at 120 FPS. Pretty, pretty bananas. But on the Series S, it also allows you to play in 60 FPS, and I believe it's at 1440p, which is pretty pretty awesome as well. So, it's old Mary. How you doing, bud? Is it confirmed 120? Yes. Bioware and EA confirmed that this game plays in 120 FPS, Okay. On the Series X only. Um, because we're playing at high frame rate, I'm going to turn off motion blur because I don't really need it. But that's about it. Let's just dive in. New career. Here we go. Now, I've not played the game ever, so no spoilers for me, please. Classified information requested. Oh, I'm excited, man. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Ooh. John Shepard? Or Jane Shepard. Due to your covert N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. Um, or a new ID. Let's do a new ID. Oh, you can actually customize them. Oh, I love a character customizer. Let's do a custom mail. First name. First recommendation for the name in chat. I'm going to use that name. Go. Come on. Who's it going to be? Give me a name. What are we naming our Shepard? Come on. Come on. Do tell. I'm keen. Can't wait to get it for my Series X. Yes, nice, Arjun. When do you think you're going to pick it up? That's going to be awesome. I'll definitely pick it up for my Series X. And yeah, 120 FPS, man. More games are coming out with 120 FPS support. It's awesome. Plus, we've got things like FPS boost, which is even better. Hello, Kenneth. Bruce. All right, Gary said we're going to go with Bruce. This guy's name is Bruce. Done. But not caps, Bruce. We're not screaming at everyone all the time. Okay, Bruce Shepard. Perfect. Sci-fi potato. <laughs> you say potato. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct. Mosler. <laughs> no. Not that. Okay, so we've got three options. A spacer, a colonist, or an earthborn. Both your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Uh, that's kind of cool. Colonist. You were born and raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Atkin Traverse. Um, or we were an orphan raised on the streets of the covering Earth. Oh, yeah, I like that. Let's go with Earth. Soul Survivor, War Hero, or Ruthless. I think a man like Bruce... It's got to be a war hero, right? Um, military specialization. Oh, cool. So this is like we're starting to actually spec into our... Yeah, specializations now. Soldier. So soldiers are combat specialists. They have improved health. Okay. They wear medium armor. And they can learn heavy armor. Clone trooper. Imagine. Yeah, maybe a clone trooper vibe. That'd be kind of cool. So we'd probably be a soldier. Uh, engineers are tech specialists. 
using the Omni tool, they decrypt security. Okay, cool. Adepts are biotic specialists, so that sounds like a mage or like using mana kind of style in other RPGs. Yeah, so they use powers rather than uh, weapons, I guess. Infiltrators combine combat and tech to do long range. So these are your sniper classes. Sentinels combine biotic with tech. Okay, so healing skills. Okay, so these are like a, a, a warden. They sort of heal allies. Then vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons. Ooh, they specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. That does sound kind of cool, though. Running and gunning, just like absolutely annihilating everybody. Guys, what would you pick for your first ever playthrough? Let's, even if you've played this game already, go back, erase that memory from your mind and think, hmm, what would I pick now? Soldier. I'm thinking soldier just because it sounds like the most all round, like, Confirm yeah, let's go with it. Facial identification. Oh, you can actually customize his head. <gasps> Ooh. Infiltrator. Yeah. Bruce Wayne. Looks like G.I. Joe. Well, we're about to mess him up. What should we make him look like? That looks like Duke Nukem. <laughs> Who should we start with? That looks like a good one to start with. Alright, let's mess up his face structure. Give him a bit of a rough complexion. This guy's seen some stuff, man. He's a war hero. Let's not forget. He's got thick neck. Thick neck only. Thick neck like he should be in the Gears of War universe. Thick neck but small ears. Does that make sense? Singularity is fun to use. Okay. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll I don't know if you can like respec as you play. So maybe there's a chance to sort of learn a lot about the game as we're going through it. Fourth head. What was the fourth one? Nah, nah. We're staying with this guy. We're staying with this guy. His eyes need to say, like, I've seen some stuff, man. He needs to have, like, not dead eyes, but, you know, they're wise. We'll say they're wise eyes. Yeah, that was good. He's kind of looking a bit like Sylvester Stallone at the moment. <laughs> Which I'm not against. Big big chin if he's going to be Stallone. You like using snipers. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense. Yeah, grizzled vet. That's, I like that word. Grizzled, Jason. Very good shout. Um, The mouth I'm fine with. The lips look good. Nose shape. His nose is a bit too perfect. It needs to be beat up a bit. Like we said, he's seen some stuff. He's a war hero. It needs a bit of like crookedness to it, or I don't know. He's been in a lot of fights. Yeah, that's good. All right. Soldier in the OG Mass Effect, but you can use all weapons in Legendary Edition. Oh, perfect. Um, is the fidelity sacrificed for extra frames? So, Jamie, I believe if you're choosing performance mode, you get 4K60 on the Series X. If you choose um, frame rate mode, you get 1440p120. So, there you go. That's your options there. Obviously, we haven't really gotten into the game yet, but I mean... I'm not seeing any screen tearing. I'm not seeing anything like that when I'm moving the character around. But obviously, we'll, we'll you know, get a better look at the 120 FPS once we get end game. Should we go with the high, you know, skin fade? That's good. He do, he's not one for flashy hairstyles, this guy. That's what I get from him. And just a little, little stash. <laughs> no, this doesn't look good anymore. What happened? He totally changed. It looks awful now. What have I done? I ruined him. Yeah, let's go with the chin strap. Chin strap vibes. Yeah. Um, Where's the gray hair? Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's going gray. He's getting old. Ooh, a scar. I mean, he can't be a military man without the scar, can he? Ooh, that's a mean one. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's good. Someone tried to carve his face off. Good. Finalized. There's the code. I guess if you want to copy my, if you want to copy my design and use them in your game, there it is. Done. All right. Confirm facial identification. Yeah, I'm happy with it. How do we? How do we go? Finalize. Profile reconstruction. Bruce Shepard, the Earthborn war hero soldier. 
Amazing. Identification confirmed. Um, normal auto level up off legendary mode. So as far as I know, this basically cuts how many levels there are in half. In the original games, it went up from level 1 to level 60 at max. But in legendary mode, it makes it level 1 to level 30. So I don't know if it's meant to just simplify things or make it more fun. But I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, that's the recommended mode. So It's John Cena. Do you think so? Well, you can see a big difference from the OG game. Born, I mean, how old is this game now? No the original Mass Effect. Oh, shh. No. Shh, shh. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. This looks awesome, by the way. Forces on the ground until reinforcements arrive. He's the only reason to listen. 4K resolution, Bats. If you're playing at 60. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Bruce Shepard. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in all. They called it Mass Effect. That's pretty sick. Now I know why it's called that. This is my first time, Jason. Yes. Very first time ever playing the Mass Effect original trilogy. This looks awesome, by the way. Very smooth 120 FPS. We are connected. Hello there. A mass and destination. Ooh, I'm excited. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Yeah, they haven't said if it's a dynamic 4K. I'm pretty sure it's not. Right now we're playing 120 FPS though. I thought so too, Jordan. It's very familiar, that guy. That particular voice actor. I think he's been in quite a lot of games and, and cartoons as well. Hi, Bobby. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Woo! So is that the Mass Effect? This portal? Well, this is a relay. Okay. Oh, cool. It's like a big gun for spaceships that shoots them out. That's sick. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. About to get hooked. I really hope so because I got three whole games to play then. These cutscenes are great. Ninus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, <laughs> specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Hi, Alosh. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. Ooh. Um... Overreacting. You always expect the worst. Now, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. Hey, Punisher. We don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we meet Chief Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. Here, Lieutenant. Tell what? Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Is he upset? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> Whoa, look at us. Here we are. How are you this morning? I'm very good. You don't like his chin? I like his chin. I thought I did a good job. You guys are mean. <laughs> Can we talk to these guys? Joker. The captain's waiting for you in the calm room, Commander. All right, let's get going. Man, this is awesome. So smooth. Is it really running in 120 FPS? All right, yeah. I'll show you. Here's my video settings. 1440p. 
120 right there. And yep, 120 FPS for me. Can confirm. Obviously, you guys can't see it on YouTube. But it is running. Um, navigate present. No, where's the captain? I grew up on Eden Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. Excuse me. Telling us about his men. Nihilus. Hello. Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard. Yep, it's quite those beautiful. are my settings. <laughs> uh, we're going to Eden Prime. Okay. Beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol. Thank you, Chuck, for the tip. Hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? I've got to say, these voice actors are amazing. Um, What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Hello, is gamer. What's up, Will? Ready for this? Oh, there he is. I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. <laughs> We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Um... What are we picking up? Yeah, that's what I want to know. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our What year drives. is it in this it's game, by the way? It's based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why did we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable. Not wrong. <laughs> even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. Should have known. I guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human 2183. Okay. It shows how far the alliance has come. How do we know about stuff that happened 50,000 years ago then? The with an alien. Single-handed. You showed not only courage but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. What if I refuse? I don't like people making decisions about my future. Yeah, that's right. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Uh, investigate. Oh, we can ask for more details. I want to know more about the Protheans, What do you know man. about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Hmm. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. <laughs> but everyone agrees. Hopefully gone by then, Jordan. Civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. <laughs> and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Hmm. All right. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Uh -oh. Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Uh-oh. This can't be good. It's never good when you get a transmission. Get down! Ah, 
something tells me it didn't go as planned. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Ooh. Whoa. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. How did he know exactly when to stop the... 38.5? Was he counting the whole time? <laughs> Status report. What is that? It looks like a hand. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take Damn. us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and I feel like we watched hole. a uh... <laughs> sci-fi film there. And Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Ooh, we're going in. What is that thing? That looks sick. Engaging stealth systems. All right, guys in chat. If you had the Someone chance to go into space, in here, Captain. would you do it? Would you Your do team's it? The muscle in this operation, Commander. I would love to, but I don't think I'm allowed. For the dick site. What about My missus wouldn't Captain? let me. <laughs> Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. All right, bye then. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We trust him. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you. Whoa, I didn't mean it like that. Jeez. Oh, God's sake. Brian. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Let's go kick some butt. We are approaching drop point two. This looks awesome, man. Really impressed with the visuals. You would definitely go up, yeah? Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Right trigger to fire. Missed my first shot. That's always good. Here it comes. X for melee. I don't think there's jumping in this game, is there? Hold down A to sprint. B is melee as well. Oh, God. Hold LB to switch weapons. Oh! That's really cool. So you can actually choose what your squad are using at the same time. Let's get the Lancer out. Oh, I'm glad that you're really enjoying it, Kicking. That sounds great. Never played Mass Effect. Is it still worth it in the original version? I've not played them either, to be honest. But I'm sure there's loads of people in chat that can give you some advice, King. Um, anyone in chat want to help out King of Kings? Oh, Jenkins! What are you shooting at, bro? Nice. Whoa, what was that? Ah, oh, he's dead. He's dead, mate. He deserves a burial. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. All right, that's pretty diplomatic. I like it. We're going this way. Medi gel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omni gel can be used to bypass decryption. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and open containers. Gotcha. As you gain levels, use the squad screen to improve your abilities. Check it out. Squad. Oh, wow. This goes quite in depth then, huh? Two and three still hold up today, in my opinion. Fair enough. I think two and three, aren't they available through uh, EA Play on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate as well? Which is pretty pretty sweet. If you have Game Pass, you can at least try them a little bit. See if you want to try the remastered versions in the Legendary Edition instead. Bye, Jordan. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. We'll see you soon. 
Squad screen lets you view your team's talents. You use the D-pad to select a talent or its rank. Press A to spend a talent point to gain a rank in that talent. As you gain levels, you'll acquire them more. All right, sweet. So it's a pretty straightforward leveling system. We've got three points to spend. Um, Let's go with assault training. A little bit of that. And then just up our assault rifles in general. All right, I think I'm happy with that. Can you do your teammates as well? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm just going to auto-level up teammates. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Use D-pad to issue orders. Attack is up. All right. Let's try that out. Keep using left stick to try and sprint. I wonder if I can unbind that or change it. I suppose I could in the Elite Series 2 menu. This looks so good though, guys. I'm not even kidding. Oh, I just used Medigel. Idiot. Um, I'm using my capture cards at the moment, Dave. It allows me to play at 120 and capture it whatever I like. <gasps> Whoa! Who are these boys? Oh! Rip! <laughs> I think he's going to make it out. Yeah, I don't believe mouse and keyboard is supported on Xbox, guys, for this game. Loads of other games, though, that do let it. Oof. The Geth. Okay, so there's not really any reloading mechanics. It's just the heat bar, it looks like. Um, what happened here? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Happened to your unit. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon. Looks like the Outriders built an ambush. I don't think any of the others. I think I'm the only one left. Uh, don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could until the Geth overwhelmed us. Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they oh, here X now? is Nade. Oh, my bad. Okay. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us. We could use your help, Williams. I uh, Dave, now I'm playing at 1440p 120 at the moment. Those capture cards don't exist yet. As you said. Uh, let's go. Move out. Moving. I'm moving. Press the menu button to access the mission computer, then go to squad screen. Oh, yeah. Got a new member of the squad, so she's probably got stuff we can spend. Again, I'm just going to auto-level them up. Overkill allows long bursts of assault rifle fire without overheating. Nice. The at the what we got here? Light armor. Scorpion. Equipment. Here we go. So, I guess probably medium armor is best for me at the moment. But maybe for my squad mates. What's she currently got? She's got medium armor. He's got light armor. This would be better for him. More damage protection. Perfect. Everyone press 1 if you're having a nice day. There you go. Take cover. Oh, there we go. Oh. Cool. Approaching a low object will make you crouch. Damn, this weapon is kind of... Not that great, huh? 
It's the Avenger one. Is that sniper rifle? Oh yeah. Okay. And then Storm, I guess, is a shotgun. Nice. I'm gonna flank. My bad. <laughs> Shot the teammate by accident. Press B to melee. Oh, we don't need that now. Ooh. Ooh. And we leveled up. Sweet. Uh, six points for leveling up. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do some combat armor. Um, four more points still. Let's go with two soldier. These are for dialogue options, I think. Oh no, these two are for dialogue options. Uh, let's do intimidate to start with. Might be useful. Now, as for the new guns we just found. Um... Shotgun does a little bit more damage. Probably won't bother, though. Ooh, this sniper does more damage, though. I like that. And then the teammates. What have you got? You can have that one. Perfect. Oh, what's up with the dig site? This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Uh, Wissy, we're not Maybe streaming we're in 120 FPS, but I'm playing the game at 120 FPS. Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. All right, see you soon. Guessing it's up this way. How do we check the map? There we go. Train station as well. All right. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Whoa. Why do they keep putting them on spikes though? That's what I want to know. Is that like a ritual or must be something to it? Oh. Oh god, they're still alive. <gasps> what did the Geth do to them? Oh. They cyborged them, man. Husks. They look so creepy. Dude! Try the shotgun out? We haven't tried it yet. I like the shotgun, you know? It's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Did our team level up? I haven't checked that. They did. All right. Auto. Auto. Lovely. Looks like a big graphical upgrade compared to the version I played all those years ago. Yeah. I mean, this was... Don't forget, this entire trilogy, wasn't it Xbox 360? So, it's come two generations now. Which is pretty sweet. Alright, got some Omni Gel. Nice. Excuse me. That door is closed. Pretty well. Some locked objects require decryption. Yep. Yeah. Manual override. Nailed it. I'm a genius. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. 
Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of Wah, this guy's so whiny. Only ruin and corpses will remain. <laughs> what else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second, the dialogue's so good, equipment. though. Really impressed Next with like the script, the, the voiceovers, awesome. Swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds. <laughs> okay, this guy's a bit dramatic. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the what? attack. What? That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. Mm. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Beacon. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of people. Awaken the This beast. guy needs to chill, man. The darkness. Why don't you have a sit down and have some My juice, world, mate? Please. Just calm down. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Yeah, <laughs> literally, My what's up with him? Mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Uh-huh. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. Oh god, should we do it? I want to see how, he, how mad he gets. Say goodnight, Manuel. <gasps> oh god. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What did you do? Oh my god. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. <laughs> Hello, Droopy. Um, he's okay. Just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. I suppose you're right. <laughs> god, up, yeah, exactly. Williams, take us to the space. We're good. We're good here. Good luck, Commander. Any any stuff for me in here? No? No loot? We looted him? No. Alright, let's go. Uh, he proper clocked him there, man. Jeez. I'm, I'm glad, though. I thought he was going to maybe shoot him or something. So at least he didn't kill him. I hope. I don't know. Maybe, like, getting punched like that, to be honest, that can kill you. What's he going to do? Pew! No? Saren. Their eyes look super creepy. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. Help? I wasn't yeah, I thought he was going to shoot him as well, James. The situation's bad. Don't worry. <laughs> I've got it under control. <gasps> oh, no. It's very pretty, though. Oh, look at that, guys. Whoa. That's the thing that looked like the hand, right? Oh, loads of enemies. Uh, let's try to sniper. Not my most accurate weapon, but I'm getting it done. Who else you shoot? Oh. I dealt with it. Dude is ruthless, man. Hmm. 
Nihilus investigate? What do you mean? Oh, there he is. Come oh, on. snap. Did he kill him? <gasps> he did. Over behind those crates. Oh, no. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding. Uh, Pieta, I believe the creatures. first game is about 20 gig. Each game it's after that is about 25 to 30. So all up, it's about 80 gigs total. Um, when you download it from the store, it probably will only download the first game, and then you need to open it to download the other two. If that makes sense. Feel any difference playing in 120? Yeah, totally. It's so smooth, man. It's great. Absolutely loving it. I don't know what the original resolution was back on Xbox 360. I'm guessing it was a 30 FPS 720p. But um, yeah, this is awesome in 120. I love games at high refresh rate. The other one shot him? Other one. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Yikes. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? We were told the Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. Yes, what thank happened? you, Andy. Appreciate that, old Mary. It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. You know, I'm not too trouble. sure, Pieter. There, there might be. If it. someone who has this game installed on a Series S can confirm for me. They killed everyone. I don't know if it's any bigger. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. They didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else yeah, try a bit to hide sus. the crate? They never had a chance. Should we vote him off, chat? Is he I, sus? I was already behind the crates Should we the punch this guy started. too? If you want me to punch this guy too, Wait, make sure you like in the video, and I'll punch him right now. I will punch him so hard if you like this video, guys. Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks with a super. If we get 200 likes, I will clock this guy between the eyes. I promise you. Because you're lazy. 200 likes right now. <laughs> you make me sick. You ditch work. Then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. <laughs> what else? Tell us more about the attack. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Uh, ship. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I Smooth as butter. I 100% agree, Mash. It, it was huge. It landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise. This, this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Hmm. Uh, I think we're good here. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, Thank I, you, old Mary. I, stay here. I need to get away from all this. Psh, lazy. Lazy pig! Oh! I shook it out. Woo! I kind of like the shotgun, you know. It's beefy. It definitely feels like a Gears of War style shotgun, you know. It just bam! Deals the damage. Hey, Tyrannus. How you doing, buddy? Quality mode seems to be a fix for now. Yeah, I guess if you can enable variable refresh rate, that'll always help with any screen tearing you're getting, guys. Um... That would be my number one recommendation, but if you need to, drop it down to quality mode for now, at least. Ooh, powers. Oh. Shield boost. Uh, let's get the Lancer out. Is this the train? Uh, let's try overkill. Woo! 
Damn, that looks awesome. Ooh, this guy's a tough boy. Uh oh. Boom, headshot. Oh, they're lined up. Collat. We get a collat. Nah, oh, it doesn't have bullet penetration. Oh, it kind of has aim assist, even when you're ADSing with a sniper. That is interesting. Oh, that was bad. Big graphical upgrade. It looks awesome, man. I mean, obviously, like I was saying, I, I've not played the game. Where's my teammates, by the way? Why aren't they coming? Hello? Come here, please. There you are. So, I'm trying to use their abilities. Overkill. Overload. I guess that worked. Let's try a nade. Why doesn't the nade blow up? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just takes a while, I guess. Beautiful. Yeah, I saw the awesome new Halo wallpaper as well for the 20th anniversary, Dango. Um, nothing else really confirmed for now. Just that obviously this is a this is going to be a huge year for Halo. So exciting. 20 years in the making that we come to this point. So just be excited for it, man. That's all I can say for now. They also added a photo mode. Took a lot of screenshots last night. Nice. I look forward to seeing some of them. Make sure you post them in our Discord server. Guys, if you haven't joined our Discord server, we'll get a little link in chat if you want to hang out with us after streams, chat to other Xbox and Ireland gamers. Everyone all around the world is hanging out there. So why don't you join in? We'll post a link to the Discord server in chat if you want to join. Hmm. Demolition charges. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Oh my god. We need to find them all and shut them down. What if we don't? Then what? What will you do if we don't? I guess we'll blow up. That's probably what they're trying to say. Out. I'm moving. Disarm the packages. Thanks, James. There it is, guys. There's the link in chat if you want to join our Discord server. While you're at it, drop a little like on the video if you're enjoying the gameplay. Woo! Smashing it, man. These aliens ain't nothing. And maybe let me know which of these games actually are you going to play first. Because some people, they have a favorite, I think, Mass Effect. So maybe you'd start with that one first. Are you just going to go with Mass Effect 1? Or do you prefer 2 or 3? Let me know. Anyone? All right. Let's go with the shotgun again. This thing absolutely rips. Cover me. I'm disarming. Getting jammed. Oh, no. They're jamming up our map. Damn. Someone else here? Boom! Last one. Hey, what's up, Jordan? How you doing, man? Good to see you, Dante. Hola, what's up, Gamer Saws? How are you guys doing? Welcome. Good to see you in chat. Oh, I keep throwing my nades by accident. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we did. Have, we have gotten a bit more ammo and... Oh, sorry, a bit more weaponry and stuff. Maybe we should check that out. Ammo upgrade... All right, so. Ooh, new shotgun. Ooh, yeah, definitely the scimitar. That looks sick. Striker. Yeah, all right, we'll try it. 
I'm going to equip all of the higher powered stuff. Even though it's maybe necessarily not like as good to use. Oh, some medium armor. That's good. Finally. Yeah, let's try that. All right, now for our teammates. Uh, yeah, you could use this shotty. Um, give you a new sniper. Although I haven't really been telling them to use sniper rifles, to be fair. All right. Ooh, that's better for her. Nice. All right, sweet. We're good to go. Feels like a good time to get involved. Yeah, 100%. I'm really excited to actually see where this series takes us. Uh, do we just go down now? Is this where we're supposed to go? No. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, X-Bomb? How you doing? It's my first time seeing anything from Mass Effect 1. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of people, I don't know, I don't think people slept on this game, but I think, you know, we have a whole new generation of gamers now that are excited by them. Don't know what the effective range of this shotgun is, but we're just going to keep blasting. Oh, I lost my, lost my shield. A husk. Go. New gaming chair set up. Super comfortable. Nice, man. You got to game in comfort, man. You have to game in comfort. I'm actually doing the complete opposite, and I'm standing up right now. <laughs> it's like someone dropped a bomb. Does this game include all three games in one? Yes, it does, Striker Boy. You get Mass Effect 1, 2, 3, and you get like 80 DLC included. All remastered, 4K, up to 120 FPS on Series X as well. Amazing stuff. Righty ho, what we got here? Here's the beacon. Let's investigate it. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It was Unbelievable. Like that when they dug it up. The HUD is Something better. Oh, wow, so they've done some other improvements, not just Roger to the Normandy. visuals, but the actual mechanics and HUD as well. That's cool to know, Caleb. Thank you. Whoa. That looks like a black hole. Uh-oh. No! Are we playing a horror game? Is this a horror game? Yikes. This is early and YouTube only. Yeah, we're doing a quick YouTube stream in the morning, Muscat, but we're going to be streaming again on Twitch at half two, playing some more Mass Effect, okay? Let's make sure you tune in then as well. Hey, oh, first achievement. Let's go. All my achievement hunters. You excited for this game as well? You get nearly 3,000 gamer score. Leave a like on the stream if you want to get some gamer score going. Go for it. We're trying to get over 400 likes today. Come on. Hit me with it. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. Mm. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Are we big mad. Raging. I know I don't get scared. You're right. What am I worried about? Must be eliminated. Eliminated. She looks big mad. She has not got any time for his nonsense right now. <laughs> Huge advantage for the May Gamer Score Challenge. Very Doctor. true. Yeah, Doctor. that's right. You can get 10,000 max of rewards points right now. All right, we made it out alive. That's good. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh, what happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. 
That's Something a good sleep, man. Damn. Deacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Hmm. You were careless. It's true. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. <laughs> Don't be so hard on her, Commander. She looks so sad. We have no oh. idea if that's what actually Rip. set it off. Hello, Abith. Nice to meet you. I never got into Mass Effect. Is it worth it? I, this is my first time playing it as well, so this is me experiencing it. Fresh. I'm enjoying it so far, though, and the game looks awesome, by the way, as well. The graphics are great. Uh, beacon exploded, system overload, blast knocked you cold. Um, was I hurt? What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But Her face looks really familiar. Brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. Oh no, we beta. I noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Huh. More like a nightmare. I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Death. Oh, was her hair originally silver? Interesting. It's kind of got a bit of a silver hmm. sheen. Yeah, right Anderson there, you can see report. it. It may. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding Mr. up? Mr. Well, the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll That's be in never the good. Need me. Ah, private. Oh, no. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. 15 hour nap would be nice. That's not a nap, man. That's a slumber. <laughs> uh, why is Williams here? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Mm. Good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. <laughs> God, leave a like to say bless you in chat. <sighs> Jeez. Keith David? Who's Keith David? Who are you talking about, Bex? <laughs> um, I'm annoyed. Michelle dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Alright, I need to look at who Keith David is now. I'm going to bing it. Keith David. Get my max off rewards points. Keith David. Oh, him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's jokes. I like him. Um, You want us to talk? You said you needed to see me in private. You're playing on hardcore? I'm just playing on normal because it's my first ever time playing Power Gamer. Things look bad. We're playing at 120 FPS. It looks dead. Great. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. The council's going to want answers. Um... We got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the council. The vote. <laughs> the vote. I'll stand the voiceover. You and your report, Shepard. Still works. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Mm. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. <laughs> but if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Uh, this game is not Xbox Play anywhere, Happy Cloud. So you'd need to buy it for each platform. So if you want to play this game on PC, you'll have to buy it on PC. If you buy it on Xbox, you can play it on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. So, um, hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. He's spawned as well. Wow, he's got a really great career going for him. To do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Well, that's, you Did know, you personal anything? opinion, Power Gamer. For anything some people, normal is probably just right. Was after? You know? That's that's how you've experienced the game. Uh, a vision. Just tell him about the vision. Just before I lost be honest. consciousness, I had some kind of vision. Some kind vision. of vision. A vision of what? Some kind of writing. Um, a warning? Yeah. I saw synthetics. 
Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Oh yeah, he's the Arbiter as well, you're right. <gasps> wow. What a career. He is the Arbiter from Halo 2. Damn. That's great. What will we say? What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream. We don't Wet the bed. Information <laughs> <laughs> Rather not tell him that bit. Protean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. So he's a bit mad, you could say. Um, I'll stop him. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. We expose him? We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Joker. All right, sweet. That was a really cool intro, though. I enjoyed that. If you guys are just tuning in, though, by the way, welcome to Xbox One. What's up? My name's Henry. How you doing? Currently playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition and we're playing the first game. It's my very first time trying this game. It's really cool though. Loving it. Playing at 120 FPS on the Series X. Very smooth. Loving the world, the, the you know, the sort of setting uh, up of the story already though. Seems very intriguing. A bit of mystery to it. Um, but if you're enjoying the stream all, make sure you hit like as well. Just underneath the video player. To show that you love Mass Effect or that you're enjoying the stream. Hello Ashley. I'm glad you're okay. Sorry about grilling you earlier. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. He will be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Game part does look great. Feels guilty I agree. What happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You earned it? You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot for me. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Just did my job. There's nothing special about me, Williams. Anyone would have done the same. Held off an entire enemy platoon? Alone? With all due respect, Commander, I think you've got somebody watching over you. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. What's for breakfast? Um, I had some... Had shown up. Uh, Brosties. <laughs> What did you have, Mosler? We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. What did everyone have in, in chat? What did you have for breakfast? I have to admit, Do I tell. was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Thanks for the chat, though. That was nice. Oh. Back on the deck. Joker's at the front, right? Yeah, there he is. Good timing, Commander. I was yeah, that's right, Kelly. You do get three system. options normally for your uh, dialogue. Top one is your nice playthrough. Middle is neutral. Bottom is if you want to go for like a bad guy kind of playthrough if you want to be mean. Very good, Mosler. Sounds delicious. Bacon and eggs. Ooh, good shout. You never have breakfast. Makes me sleepy again. Uh, okay. Maybe you just need to eat something different that kind of gives you a bit of a jolt of energy rather than, than fills your stomach too much. I don't know. Whoa! That looks sick! Look at this! Woo! Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Uh huh. Uh huh. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Yeah, very. 
Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. We to oh, beat a bit. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Nearly got me. That is big. It doesn't even look like a ship. It looks more like just a. I don't know, like a satellite or something? It's very weird. It's like its this own little an atmosphere. Outbreak. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Okay. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. <laughs> Sounds like you could He's kind of got a point. I don't need to speak to you if what you wrote down is accurate they and were true. Not happy about Sarah Hello, Ray Lorette. How you doing? They don't like him being accused of treason. Hmm. They're blind. I'm not going to sit on my ass just because the council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove Wait. you could get the Maybe job Maybe I don't want to be a Spectre Instead, anymore. Nihilus ended Fine. Up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others oh, can meet us at I'm the Citadel. I'm not always going to be mean, Mosler. I'll make sure you Just when it feels appropriate. Together. So I'm guess I'm, I'll, by the end of the playthrough, I imagine I'm probably going to end up That's being very you neutral. Politicians. You know what I mean? Alrighty then. Important locations are marked on your map. Open the mission computer to access it. Map. So. Point of interest is the yellow X or orange X. Damn, this place is big. Follow the pulsing arrow on your radar to the Citadel Tower. Okay. Damn, this looks so good. Hello, Rizla. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Welcome to the city limits. Hello. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Commander? Do you know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I'm a notable person. I'm a dignitary. Interesting. All right. I should be going now. Well, too important to be chatting to you then, apparently. Bye. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through ice cream. That sounds good, Rizzo. Do tell. Should you require assistance? Sounds interesting. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal One. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. All right. Goodbye. 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 And thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Seasec Academy is located down the ramp to your left. Alliance Docking Bay can be found there. Alrighty. Down the ramp to the left. Dude, this looks sick! Really impressive, guys. The leaves. The leaves! Picking a Discord. Ah, oh, sweet. Thank you. Is it here? Ah. 
Hello, boys. Alright, so obviously, guys, I'm playing in 120 FPS mode. It's super smooth. I'm absolutely loving how good this is. What would you pick, though, chat? Would you go with the performance mode, which is what I'm playing on? 1440p, 120 FPS on the Series X. Or would you choose the quality mode, which is 4K 60 FPS on the Series X? What do you think you're going to play through? Oh, nice. That does sound good, Rizzo. Wait, are we meant to go this way? No. Wait, how am I supposed to get in the elevator if I don't have permission from the council? Talk to the cat. Where are they? Tall white structure. So is it back up this way? Can't believe how blurry the game was on 360. The film grain made it nearly impossible to see. So 4K mode. Fair enough, Muscat. Ray would choose performance mode, so you'd prefer the high frame rate. Sounds good. Tyrannus is going to choose quality, so 60. Uh, Jordan says since he's got 4K TV, 4K 60 FPS. That makes sense too. Mondo says I'll go with 120 if it doesn't have a lot of dips. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Where's the council, guys? Is it this way? Financial district. Rapid transit. Oh, nice. Tower. Yeah, let's just fast travel there. Easy peasy. Whoa, we're here. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> I don't know how long the load times were uh, back on the Xbox 360, but that was rapid. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. What kind of monitor do you use? I use a 1440p 170 hertz monitor. So it allows me to play the Series X at one four, uh, one, Shepard, 120 hertz I was at 1440p. Of the investigation into Saren. Hey, Jason. Good to see you, buddy. Does look lovely, doesn't it, Bex? I play on 1440p 144 hertz, so performance mode is perfect. Yeah, nice. Definitely what I would choose. Um, Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who was that? Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. It he took about three or four minutes. Just like that on the Series X. That's how quick the load times are, man. Uh, sweet. What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's my ready gut. for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Thanks, Garrus. I like him. He seems nice. It took one, two, three minutes-ish in the beginning of the game, and then it take longer and longer the more you played. Interesting. Well, I suppose, you know, that's already a very good sign, then. If it would take, like, a, a full minute, that literally took, like, two seconds. So, <laughs> 30 times quicker, basically. Lots of people just sitting around not doing much here. Apparently, this is meant to be the... A hub where all the stuff happens, but what are you doing there, bud? What's your story? What's your name? What's your name? Hello. Guys, what do you think that person's name is? Rear Admiral. Oh, is that that was the person they were talking to, right? No, I'm waiting to speak to you. Commander. Commander. Hello. <laughs> They're really cute. I like them. What species is that? I just want to ask a couple of questions. Still listen to Vigil from the original Mass Effect soundtrack. So good. I've got to say, it's quite ominous so far, the sound. The, 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 the uh, music in the game. <laughs> Gargo game, hello. Welcome to the stream. The nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. Well, try harder. Kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker Bob? is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. 
Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. How did you get involved? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. So obvious. needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. This There's is still intense, one outstanding man. issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. <laughs> They're in league together, man. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Ooh, I'm mad now. This meeting is adjourned. You blew it. You blew it, stupid Council. <laughs> Star Wars looks different. <laughs> Yeah, weird tweet like model, bro. Bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason: to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. A whole Every human race. That's kind of intense, bro. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know him? Tell me yeah, what's their history? history? What's going on here? Saren. I didn't know about that. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad, real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here, but I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Mm -hmm. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. Who's live on Twitch later? Harkin You'll just have to tune in to find Bring out. On the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. <laughs> I don't it's want to be using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a digital <laughs> yeah. club in the lower section of the wards. I'll, 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 don't do, I'll take care of that mission. Don't you worry. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial mm -hmm. district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Shadow an Broker? information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. What about you and Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? Yeah, come on, spill the beans. Ago, Tell us. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. Uh huh. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people, and the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. All right. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. Bit heavy. I'll be over in the ambassador. Oh, I think I'm going to pop off the. Uh, it's a bit too much for me. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah. All right. So we could go to the financial district first, or we could head to the bar. Where should we go first, uh, guys? Might be James. Yeah. Got to go dancing. I mean, we could be going to the club. You know, might need to get some better clothes. There's a lot to consider in this. You know, I don't know if I'm ready to make this decision. First, we've got to find it, though. Alright, here's the elevator. Can we even use the elevator? I was trying to use it before, and it wouldn't let us. Oh, there we go. Cool, man. <laughs> I can't believe the council ignored all Love that they literally have elevator music. Need some water. Mm. Here's some water right here. If you want. Look at this. This is very pretty, this area. I love it. Look at that. It's so nice. Lovely. Look at that. I'm very impressed by the, the, the visuals in this game. Keeper. Okay, so let's look at the map. So, that's to the Citadel Tower. That's to the wards. The bank. That's to go see Balavon. Avena. Where was the bar then? Is there a way to check our like mission or anything like that? Avena again. How do we get to like the bar? Um, does the game require to be on the SSD to get the FPS boost? Um, so, if you're what it. This game doesn't use FPS Boost THX. It's actually an Xbox Series X or S optimized version. So, yes, in order to get it to play the Xbox Series X or S version of the game, it does have to be on either the internal storage or one of the Seagate expansion SSD cards, okay? Um, if you want to play it off of uh, an external drive on your Series X or S, you'll need to be using the Xbox One version of the game, okay? Those were the loading screens. Oh, okay. Well, that's not so bad. I don't really think of that as too much of a loading screen because it has dialogue. And we did have an option to skip it as well if we wanted to. Um, let's check the journal. Is this where our missions are? Yes. An agent for the Shadow Broker named Balavon. Uh-huh. Speak to Harkin. Lower wards. Oh, okay. So we do need to go to the wards. Cool was this one, I think. Bar's downstairs. Yeah, nice. Thank you, Muscat. Down we go. Yeah, across the river for the finance. I think I saw that um, signpost earlier on. On should we do a should we skip it just to see oh so it just skips the dialogue it doesn't skip the actual elevator scene <laughs> is this a bar <gasps> Qua oh quasar is there do they have, like, card games in this? Is it, like, Gwent? I'm so playing. I am so playing. Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic... <laughs> hey, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully I'm doing this in the right order. I think I'll still go over to the financial district afterwards, but I want to do this one first. Boop, boop. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 So pretty. That's cool, man. Have you experienced any crashes in the game? Nope. Not a single one. Big 
scope is amazing. This isn't a station. It's a city. Yeah. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on. And it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. So, would you rather live on like an alien or an, a different planet? Or would you rather live on like a space station like this? Because this seems really cool, but then, I don't know, would you feel like you miss being just on a planet? Out there in, you know, in space? Not necessarily Earth, but you know. Uh... Big club, why keep humans out? Yeah, true. No wonder the council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. Yeah, the they graphics look awesome. I agree. Gang of FNGs looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's got to be a balancing act, like every other government. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. Aye, aye, Commander. Aye, aye. Off to work now, or is Kelly? Emily Wong. Hello. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Hello. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting what for do you need? of corruption and organized crime. Does this have all three games? Yes, it does, Magic Jack. It includes Mass Effect 1, 2, 3, and 80 DLC items as well. I can make it worth your time. Crazy. It's everything, basically. It's only missing, I think, one level or one DLC. Um, but yeah, everything, all upscaled 4K, you know, remastered visuals. It looks sick. Yes, yeah, so I'm using the Bang & Olufsen headset, but I'm using it wired into something in my PC because obviously I'm capturing the gameplay. So I'm not using a wireless headset at the moment. Technically. Is a planet technically just a space station, though? Yeah, it's like an organic space station, I suppose. Yeah, never thought of it that way. Uh, what's with Shepard's face? I did a custom character D-Hero, so this isn't the canon male shepherd uh, body i'm using a uh, custom one that i made i was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation Can, uh, mm. why me you've got to have access to better sources why contact me i'm using every source i can find but i think i've got a better shot with you i've read your file if anyone is going to uncover corruption here it's the hero of the skillion blitz skillion blitz you know um, cool. How do you know that my investigation does this work on Xbox Series X? You yes. You That's what I'm playing on right now. If it weren't big. 120 it's FPS. I'd like to hear about. In 1440p mode. Uh, we'll see. No promises. But I haven't if decided yet. relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Aren't we all mini organic space stations? Yeah, in a way, we're carrying, you know, microbio... Uh, what's it called? Microbes and, you know, bacteria inside us and food. Earth is just carrying all of that as well, just on a bigger scale, in a way. Could say that. Oh, I think we found the bar. Hello. Oh, wait. Expat. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? No. I think I'll be going. Wait, can we sell As stuff to him, say, actually? Earth Clan, good day to you. Hmm. Is that really... Wow, it's you. You're Commander Shepard. This guy's ripped. Look at him. Crime. I am so honored to meet Microbots. You. Yeah, that's the one. Greetings from Italy. Hello, Plankton. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Verner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I so cool. Busy, but, um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Sure. Anything for a fan? Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Hmm. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Oh, yeah. You, I'll, I'll hold you to that. You will be buying me a drink, mate. Guarantee it. Is this the place? 
Fallen. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Yes. All right, let's see what the shop mechanics are like. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Oh, he only sells stuff to non-humans. Oh, okay, here we go. So we have 1250, but we can sell stuff. I'm going to sell the light armor. So I don't think I'm going to use it, really. There we go. Yeah, it's so weird. I don't. I don't. Personally, I don't get that. Impressing, impressing the wife with an autograph. Like, really? Hey, Shifty. How you doing, bud? Yeah, we haven't tried out the uh, the Mako. I remember the Mako. Isn't it, they have that in Mass Effect Andromeda as well, don't they? Um, I thought it was, wasn't too bad to drive in that game. But hey ho, I guess we'll find out. All right, let's check the map just to see where we're meant to go because I'm getting lost. Med clinic, upper markets. Oh, this is the upper wards. We need to go to the lower wards. How do we get down? Wait, to the markets and Chora's Den. That's where I thought we needed to go. So I was going the right way. 1440p and 120 hertz. Sweet. I'm glad I pre-ordered. Can't wait to start it. Yeah, I just finished Resident Evil Village last night as well. That was great fun. No spoilers for that game, just in case some people are still playing it. But yeah, now I've got a brand new game to play. Very exciting. Okay. So is Chora's Den through there, maybe? I'm guessing so. Oh yeah, here we go. That's him. Oh. Oh, we're actually fighting out here. Wrecked. Woo! Woo! Let's go. It's so obvious. Surely they've got like a little a pay a little flip phone on them that's got like <laughs> all his bits in it. It's got his contact details probably. Hello gamers. Hello Texan. How you doing, mate? Some characters cannot wear anything better than light armor unless they change that. Oh, okay. I think the two companions I've got right now, both of them can wear medium. And they have light armor already equipped. Jenna. Let's talk to Jenna. Hello. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. What? You're not busy? Look, you're not serving anyone. What? Fine. What about you, mate? Maybe I should put away my gun. <laughs> Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This Oof, is they look mean. Jam. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was oh, that good. All about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Or we could get stuck right in and put our foot in it. <laughs> oh, there's Harkin. Found him. Hello. Alliance military. I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Hmm. Where's Garrus? I'm looking for a CSEC officer. A Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Captain let you in on his big secret. Ooh, juicy. Spill the tea. Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't oh. know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Oh. 
You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well <laughs> spread them around. I'm not going to take medical advice from this guy. You're a pig. You pig? Just noticed that now, did you? Oh, so he knows he's a pig. Great. Um, it's not why I'm here. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med. That's so grim, side. man. <laughs> Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. <laughs> Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Bye bye. Uh, no, let's not mess with the big frog man. Oh, the general. Go away. Oh, all right. Sorry. Sorry. No son, yeah, hard Texan. So should we go talk to the person in the financial district first? Do you think? Yeah, the Series X is the only console in the world that can play this game at 120 FPS. Fact. Which is pretty cool. I'm not complaining, that's for sure. Um, why don't we travel to the f to the financial district just to save some time? Um, no. Let's go to the embassies. I don't know if that's actually close or not. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this is good. Because I'm pretty sure the district is down over here, over this. Yeah, lovely. This looks awesome, guys. Look at the visuals. That's just... That is pretty. How do we use the photo mode? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Nice. You can change the focal length and everything. Damn. Let's really open it up. Let's get a nice little snap. Right, good bucket. Something like this. Ooh, film grain. Yeah, a little bit of film. I like a bit of film grain in my snaps. What about you guys? Vignette. Nah, it's take... Um, actually, alright. A bit of vignette. There it is. Yeah, there's a photo mode. It looks good. Alright. Screenshot. Boom. I'll upload that later. Okay, let's check the map just to make sure we're going the right way. So I guess we're going to the bank. See you over there. Is that right, Astris? Wow, that's interesting. I had no idea about that. Apparently play saves from the last gen version. Is it this way? Oh god, put, put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Is it this way? Yes, it is. Sweet. I wonder what we're going to find out from her, though. 
for a whole grain. <laughs> I like whole grain. Whole grain bread. I didn't used to. When I was a kid, I always like, no, I want to have white bread. But now, obviously, I understand. Whole grain is the one. Is it in here? Is this the bank? Yeah, there's Barlavon. Hello. Hello. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. Mm -hmm. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. You spying on me? I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. <laughs> Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Need an info. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow you Broker. Information about Sarah. Guys, we just hit 200 You're likes on the stream. Let's go. Thank you so much. Right. If you haven't already, why don't you hit like right Shadow Broker. And I now? Know something about Sarah. Let's pump it up. See if we can get 250. Come on. Hit that like button. Let's go. You're very blunt, but you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. Um, what's the cost? I hear your information can be expensive. What game is this? Hey, Project, this Normally, game is Mass Effect 1 as part of the Mass Effect Legendary but these are uh, edition collection. So I am going to give it to you for free. Oh, freebie. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. Oh, nice. They used to do Good a freebie. lot of business until Saren turned on him. Not the only one. Saren's turned on a lot of people. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Hmm. Rex? I think I know him. His name's Rex. Yes, I believe he's the one. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Why is Isn't he there? it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt Are the Krogan's the, the sort of frog looking ones? We'll to speak is that with right? Him if you want to know more. All right, let's go. Thanks for the info. We did just bump I into one of them at that bar. Sweet, so stop pulling out the gun, man. Uh, what's the next bit on our journal? Krogan Bunty Hunter named Erdnot Rex might be able to help you against Saren. Ooh, yes, please. And then we could also get Garrus. Can we take both of them? Speak to Rex. CSEC Academy. Alright, so we need to go to the Academy. Um Super crisp, I agree. Uh, let me check the map first, actually. Where the academy is. Avena. Live in Avena, look. CSEC. HQ. Is that the same as the academy, though? Hmm. I'm going to say yes. So let's go to CSEC Academy. Yeah. Krogans are the Ewoks of Mass Effect. Super cuddly. Really? The frog looking ones. What games do you stream? Uh, we stream quite a good variety of games here on Xbox On. We main, mainly do YouTube videos here, but occasionally we'll stream some like new games, such as today, obviously, Mass Effect launched worldwide, so we're playing it. Um, but normally we stream on Twitch, where we play a big variety of games. We play like Warzone, Sea of Thieves. We play late, you know, new releases. So we played Resident Evil Village as well, for example. So, you know, loads of games. Loads and loads of games on our Twitch channel. Same name, twitch.tv slash Xbox On. Um, where is it? Map. So I have to go back in there. Oh, okay. 
Back in there, turn left. Yeah, we've got a team of five people on our channel. We've got myself, obviously. We've also got Bex, Charlie, Sam, and Benny. So five of us all playing different games. It's a lot of fun. Take a Krogan everywhere you go. You really think they're cuddly? Cuddly and cute? Is this the right place for the academy? Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? No. I came on my own. I need information. Game looks cool. It looks great. I'm really impressed. So curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? <laughs> uh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Was there something you needed, Commander? Mm. I want to find out that bounty hunter. But I don't think. CSEC? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security. Citadel services. security, I'm guessing that's what that means. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. You say the CSEC representative to the we council, play. I spent most of my time liaising between the two. Uh, oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Right. goodbye. How the hell do we get to the academy? I mean, this don't look like no academy. There's a private here, though. Stop pulling out the gun. I keep pressing that button because that's normally where a map goes. <laughs> this is the Embassy Lounge, and that was CSEC HQ. So this isn't the academy. How do we get to the academy? Let's go to that little waypoint, I guess. Hi, Henry. Did you play the original games? How much time is necessary to finish the three games with their DLCs? Uh, I've not played any of the original original games, Francisco. No, this is brand new for me. Fresh playthrough. Never tried this game before. Um, but to be honest, the way people talk about this game, it sounds like... Oh, Seasick Academy down there. Um, it sounds like this game literally has hundreds of hours of gameplay. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, literally. Is this the academy? Can we go in here now? I assume so. Yep. Yes, we're allowed in. Sweet. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, yeah, don't you don't need you Xbox Live Gold anymore to play free-to-play games, uh, Prajith. Yeah, life. totally. So Warzone, Fortnite, Rocket League, all of those games used to need Xbox Live Gold in order to play them online, but not anymore because they're free to play, completely free to play. Oh, wait. Uh, Rex. Oh, this guy's Rex. <gasps> it's the guy from the bar. Oh. I saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. Interesting. From you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. We need to talk. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. How so? Enlighten me. I've been uh, I don't have anything to announce on that, Dev. No. Again, a man named Fist. 150 He's hours, Roman says, for all three games plus all DLC. Interesting. Um, here's a tip. Spend squad points on Intimidate or Paragon as it opens up dialogue options. Yeah, I've done a couple of those, I think, already. I did it in Intimidate. Um, but we haven't leveled up again since, so. What did he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Orion showed up here on the Citadel. He was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted... No, Sam. paid games do need Xbox Live Gold in, in order to play them online, Sneaky. It's free-to-play games that no longer need Xbox Live Gold to play online. 
Not only that, but party chat as well as looking for group features were all made available uh, no matter whether or not you had Xbox Live Gold. So. This is not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably mm. somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. Deal. I'll do that. Easy. Time we paid Fist a visit. Oh, does he join our what party now then? That Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. Yeah, let's go get Garrus as well. Handy. Why not? He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Med clinic. Move out. Oh, add to squad. Oh, you can only have two at a time. I see. Let's go with, yeah, Caden and Erd, not Rex. They seem like quite balanced together. All right. New friend. Look at him. He's so cute. All right, let's get out of here. Get back up the stairs. Well, a lot of people use party chat, to be honest, Dev. It's a massive feature. <laughs> so, yeah. Mini Godzilla. Yeah, I get what you mean. What's up, Force to Switch? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, okay, so. Garrus. He's in the med area, right? The med office. Which is not in here, so yeah, we do have to go back up. Sweet. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected So stoked to play this game. Nice, Vice Garrus. Never played it myself, so this is all brand new for me. It's awesome. Artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Uh, sneaky. Okay, I'll explain it. So, if a game is free to download it, so let's take, for example, Call of Duty Warzone or Rocket League, those games do not cost you money in order to, you know, download them, right? They're free to play. Now, because of the changes to Xbox Live Gold, you no longer need Xbox Live Gold in order to play those games online. Now, obviously, if we're talking about a single-player game that doesn't use online multiplayer, you don't need Xbox Live Gold for that either, right? However, let's take a game like Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. You have to buy that game, right? It does cost money. So, in order to play that game online, you do need Xbox Live Gold. So the changes only affect free-to-play games like Fortnite, Rocket League, Warzone, etc. Does that make sense now? Yeah? It's it's just a move that helps make free to download games genuinely free to play. Yeah? Because you don't need a subscription in order to play them online. Um Oh yeah, does he have any points? He has six points. Let's go. What's his auto level up saying? Assault rifles and combat armor. Makes sense. I think that's everyone sorted. Okay, so let's check out the med bay. Thought I saw it earlier on the map. Consort chambers. Citadel Tower. Wards access. CSEC Academy. Where the hell's the med? Where's the med bay? Um, we don't obviously know yet, Dangerous Dev, about games that will support 8K. We have got games that technically support 6K. So Ori, for example, is uh, one of the, was one of the first games that allowed you to play it in 6K. But yeah, no news yet on any 8K games. You just have to keep an eye out. Still so early in the console generation, so... Go to the med clinic. In the upper wards. Ah, oh, okay, sweet. So let's fast travel to the wards. There it is, med clinic. Perfect. Too many lights, too much noise. Oh, I think he's in this room. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. <gasps> oh, snap. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. 
Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Whoa! Oh. Snap! Hey, Peter Jensen. Uh-oh. Where's the other one? Easy. Area secured. Aww. Wah. Nice glasses, though. Well, let's talk to him. What's up, Garrus? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Sneaky. Technically, this Series X already supports 8K because it's an HDMI 2.1 feature. So 8K is already supported natively by the Series X. It's just, yeah, 8K TVs, obviously, there's not many out there, right? Um, who are those men? Why were they threatening you? Who Which shepherd are you playing as? I made a custom shepherd. They custom male shepherd. Keep me from Soldier about the class. The one I, told you about, I don't think there's mouse and keyboard support, Roman. No, not on Xbox. Get. There is no way the council can ignore this. Uh, but Fist has it. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? Good question. I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Woo! Fist New friend. Waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Combat strength is massive with these two. I like it. Nobody stands a chance. Sort of Michelle. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. That's alright, I never asked. What would have happened if you hadn't been there? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Whoa, 420,000. You think I'm made of money? Jeez. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for Hero or Renegade? Oh, uh, I, I chose War Hero. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was Are you going to play all three games? I think I'm going to, yeah. Die. I'm going to try them. I if I'm really enjoying them, then the yeah, absolutely. I'll play all of it. Not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. Oh, already did, did that. up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Goodbye. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you too, lady. Oh, God. Okay, so... Now we need to go back to the club, right? Sure is them. Because that's where we think that this guy's keeping that person of interest. You will play all three. Probably, I mean, a lot of people think I'm going to get hooked on this. Holy cow, there's a lot of enemies. Oh, even the bartender hates us now. Never even got to have a drink. Oh, God. I think Shotty's going to be a good shout here. Woo. Maybe not. Hold up. Try some of their abilities, maybe. What do they have? Barrier. Sabotage. Yep. Nice. There's two more. Oh, it's up there. Didn't even see him.
Huge. Ooh. We got them all, Shepard. Hello. Take cover. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. All right. I mean, I was going to give you a chance to live, but fine. You want to play it that way, mate? Doesn't bother me. Oh, God. What? Oh, snap. <gasps> what? Oh, got it. I didn't realize my health was so low. Oh, that was so dumb. I barely saw it. All right, this time for real. This time for real. So many enemies as well. God. Oh. I literally just killed him then as well. But his buddy on the side <laughs> finished me off. <laughs> Medi gel. Stay on your toes, man. Good, and we're good. Oh God, no, we're not. Broken still alive? Jeez, dude. Ow. Boom. Oh no. Throw my nades. Don't forget to give orders to them. I mean, I thought I was. There we go. Alright, let's get the old shotties out for this bit. What? Come on, wait for the shields. There we go. Oh, we had turrets. Come on, boys, get in there. More. Hey, oh, let's go. Start talking. Tell me where the quarry is. I won't have to shoot you in the kneecap. <laughs> She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill the graphics look awesome, wait, skilled wait, person. This was an Xbox 360 is, game and has been brought up to 4K, it. up to 120 it's FPS on Series X. Looks awesome, man. Loving it. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she Land shows up, Sharon's men will uh where's the meeting give me the location now here on the wards the back alley by the markets she's supposed to meet them right now you can make it if you hurry no oh! what are you doing the shadow broker paid me to kill him i don't leave jobs half done a lot of people died because of him he had it coming Fair. now let's move we have to save that quarian very well done. You get any, any stuff? All safe. Alright. Nailed it! What we got? 
Anti-personnel rounds and hammerhead rounds. You know what? I haven't tried looking at how um, you're supposed to be able to do upgrades. Oh, we've only got three minutes. Go, go, go. Quickly, we can do this, though. Hell yeah. Come on, open up! Psh, let's go! Go, go, go! Move, move, move! Please! We gotta move! We're gonna lose the person that we're actually here for. Go, go. Where do we actually need to go, though? Journal. Get to the alley. Okay, where is it? Here? I think this is it. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's oh, I think it is. Nailed They'll it. Be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Huge. Hold up. Oh, God. Why can't I fire my gun? <laughs> we good? Just set me up. I knew I couldn't oh. trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? A friend. Maybe. My name's Shepard. Maybe. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I mm -hmm. have a chance to repay you. Graphics are only one aspect of the game. You. There's so much to this game safe. already. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Just doing my job. You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Uh, yeah, I figured so. But I think it was Maybe the enemy the did it to me. At the beginning, miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. Mm -hmm. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. 
and one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. What are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years cool. ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. <laughs> the Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? This is deep, bro. My name is shepherd Tali. looks different. I made a custom shepherd, you saw so that's me in why. Valley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come. Yeah, it's you. a remaster, guys. It's not a full remake. Don't forget that as well. Um, but yeah, I made a custom-looking shepherd. That's why he probably looks different to what you're used to, guys. <laughs> I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret. Another this. new friend. Let's go. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. So there's only one more um, companion to find. Well, let's go with Tally and Garrus. Alright. Well, guys, that's all we've really got time for today. I hope that this little look at the Mass Effect Legendary Edition uh, was fun for you guys. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Don't forget, we always have loads of amazing videos coming up on this channel. And we're actually going to be streaming some more uh, on Twitch at half two, which is literally in like a couple of hours. So if you want to see some more gameplay, tune in on twitch.tv slash Xbox on. Don't forget, if you haven't already, hit subscribe on our channel. Make sure to like this stream as well. And we will see you in the next one. Bye bye.